The NG Control Status Directive that applies the untouched, touched, and pristine dirty CSS classes to the elements with the NG Control attribute also handles applying a valid invalid class. If I inspect the customer name field in the browser dev tools, I can see the ng-untouched and ng-pristine classes on it. And there's also this ng-invalid class, which is on there because this field has the required validator and that validator is reporting an invalid state. When I put valid data into the customer name field, the ng-control status directive handles removing that ng-invalid class and adding the ng-valid class. So you can use these classes to style against to give the user visual feedback on the valid state of your form fields. Over in the order sheet component CSS file, the CSS for the order sheet component already has style rules for fields with the ng-invalid class. There is one that applies a red border to the input of type text when it has that ng-invalid class. And back over in the browser, I can see the form loaded with no error message for required and the yellow border showing to call our attention. And if I click in there and click off, the required error now shows up. And if I reset the form and click in the customer name, type a letter, the error validation kicks in and the border turns red and the length error shows up. And if I add another letter, the control becomes valid and errors go away. And staying in this field, if I clear out the value, I see the required error show up. So you can use the built-in CSS ng-invalid and ng-valid classes to pull off your visual error feedback in your forms. And you can also use the abstract control properties that those CSS classes are paired with to handle statement logic in your templates for showing feedback as well.